Every generation is accused of being an immature generation. When I was young, I kept hearing the older people say, man, if you were, when I was your age, I was so mature and so on and so forth. And the older generation that is, is thought of as being out of step with the new generation. One generation embraces change and the other generation embraces stability. When will we learn to lean on the advice and the mistakes of the past generation so that we can move forward in the my past years of working with the younger generation i have penned a kind of a phrase young man disease or the young woman disease and what i mean by that is they want to throw everything out and they must reinvent the wheel while i'm all for innovation i am not for innovation that throws out the wisdom of what has gone before. Mastery of technology does not mean mastery of life experiences and vice versa. Let's learn from one another. So King Rehoboam, he wanted to do his own thing. He sought the advice of all of the peers from his own age group and he did not listen to the advice of the older generation. What ensued was chaos and disunity. Why didn't he stop and inquire from the Lord and ask the advice from not just his peers, but also from his elders and then, and then go back to the Lord and ask the Lord what to do. It ended badly for him. When is it good to do your own thing? It is good to seek the advice of others to have a multitude of counselors. The most primary thing is to seek the Lord first, then seek the counselors, then go back to the Lord and ask him, is this what we're, we should do? Ultimately, seek the Lord, seek the counselor, the Holy Spirit, and he will guide you. He will give you wisdom. He promises us that.